Jesus. When I was six years old, I fell into the Arno. I soon found myself drifting down and into darkness. Certain my life was at an end. Instead, I woke to the sound of my mother weeping. At her side stood a stranger, soaking and smiling at me. My mother explained that he had saved me. And so began a long and prosperous relationship between two families. Yours and mine. I am sorry I could not save your father and brothers. You have nothing to apologize for. I believe Jacobo de Pazzi played a part in their deaths. They attack on you as well. I need to find him. That coward fled before we could arrest him. Have you any leads? No. They've hidden themselves well. They? Jacopo was not the only conspirator to escape. If they work with Jacopo, they were surely involved in the plot against my family as well. Give me their names. Antonio Maffei. Archbishop Francesco Salviati, Stefano da Bagnone, and Bernardo Baroncelli. Bene. I will go and see my uncle. He has men stationed in the countryside. Wait. Before you go. A codex page. I took it from the files of Francesco de Pazzi, seeing as he clearly no longer needs it. I've always had an interest in things of antiquity. As did your father. It is meaningful to me as well. Then consider it a gift. Che il Signore ci protegga. you're all right. This madness with the Medici and the Pazzi, is this why you pursued Francesco? Not exactly. Well, whatever your reasons, the city is safe again thanks to you. Now tell me, how may I be of service? Ah, another page. Aha, it's a similar cipher to the last one. This won't take long. Interesting. Hmm. Indeed. I see. It's another blade design for delivering poison. Can you build it? See, it won't take very long. I just need to find a way to hollow out the blade without sacrificing the... It's all right, Leonardo. Just do what you need to do. All done. I filled your blade with a bit of poison to start with. Should you run out, just visit a doctor. Poison? From a doctor? In high enough doses, that which cures can kill. I am in your debt once more, my friend. Anytime, Ezio. Anytime. Come in, come in. To what do we owe the honor? I've been sent from Firenze by Il Magnifico to attend to some unfinished business. I'm looking for Jacopo de Pazzi. Ha! Who isn't? We've been at it for days. And perhaps what I carry will help us both. A list of his co-conspirators. One of them will talk before he dies. Excellent. These men are sure to lack Jacopo's resources, which means they will be easier to find. I will put my scout to it at once. I appreciate the help, uncle. I've got something else for you as well. More codex pages. Ah, let's see what we can learn. What is this? What profit? What did you find, uncle? Just another damn mystery. The text here roughly translates to only the prophet may open it. 
There's reference to two pieces of Eden, but these pages offer no answers, Nipote. At least, not on their own. You must find more. We'll have to save it for another day, Uncle. I have a mission to attend to. As you wish. Now, if you hope to defeat these bastardi, I will need to teach you a few things. Meet me on the practice field. All right, Ezio. You're familiar with counterattacking, but what happens when your enemy is as well? I don't usually give them the opportunity. Tough talk offers little protection against Templar steel. Then by all means, Maestro. Teach me what to do. Now dodge. Poor little Faiso, dying just to follow orders. <laughs> <laughs> Bene, bene. Now do it again. Much better. One last time now. Let's see it another time. Just one more time, Ezio. Magnifico! Once again, you exceed my expectations. Signore, we found Jacopo's men, and they wait your word to strike. Relay the following. No man moves until they have spoken with Ezio. Intesi? It will be done. Go, Ezio. Visit with my mercenaries in the countryside. See if Jacopo's lackeys won't lead you to him. But be careful. They will be expecting you. Salute, Ezio! Antonio Maffei has sought refuge atop the city's tallest structure, spouting scripture and arrows in equal measure. The man has clearly lost his mind. Making matters worse, he's posted archers all around him. You do well to clear them out before approaching. Grazie for the information. Some respect for death, my friend. I'll show you respect. No, I will. E tu possa al fine trovare riposo. Nel corpo e nella mente. Requiescat in pace. There's one of the symbols. What does it mean? It must be there for a reason. Can you take a closer look? Hey! Try using eagle vision. I've got all day. Wait, wait, that's, that's not possible. This can't be. Hold on. That's computer code. Let me compile it. 
Oh shit, it's an encrypted file. Upload it to my computer. I'm a master at decryption. Yeah, I can't. It's only compatible with the Animus itself. I'd upload it to Desmond then. I believe this. Hello. This is. Uh, they, they, they call me Subject 16. Listen, I don't have much time. There's something I have to show you. We have been lied to this whole time. Everything we know, everything we've been brought up to believe, <laughs> it's wrong. Okay, um, I've uploaded the evidence, the file that, 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 that proves it all, but I've split it into 20 pieces and locked each with a code. <laughs> Can't be too careful. Qu Queen Isabella. No, not her. Uh... Uh, uh, what century is it? Uh, never mind. I've hidden the code to the first file inside this program. Find it. Find them all. And along the way, you'll begin to see the truth. What the heck? How did this get inside our animus? Oh. Oh, the memory core. We transferred 16's memory data from Abstergo into the Animus 2.0. He must have hacked the machine when Vidic left him alone between sessions. Oh, hold on, wait a second. The signs on the walls in Abstergo, the ones written in blood, those were clues. He was telling us to look for them inside the Animus. Ezio, about time you got here. We found Bernardo Baroncelli. Ottima notizia. Tell me where he is and I'll see that he's dealt with. That's the trap. Lorenzo actually had him arrested days ago, after being returned to us from Constantinople. But he escaped. We believe him to be somewhere inside San Gimignano. Va bene. I'll see if I can't pin him down. How do you expect to succeed where the rest of us have failed? I have my ways. Jacobo. So you can do to him what you've done to me? There is still time for you to clear your conscience. We gather at the church when a meeting is called. Mi duole dover giungere a tanto. Requiescat in pace. We found Archbishop Salviati. He's barricaded himself inside that villa. Take some of my men. Use them to clear the fields. Then find a way over the wall so you can open the gates. Ah. 
Command over my own army. A nice change of pace from the usual sneaking and stabbing. I like it. I see you there, assassin! You hear me? Finish! You Templars, always singing the same song. Do you think a few mercenary will scare me? Ah! They should. Shall I send your remains to that Ubriacone, Mario? <laughs> What's the point? There won't be anything left of you to recognize. It's quite a plan you have. Spouting nonsense while you send these other men to die. I am a terrible man. What say you to this? Turn back now and I'll call off my men. Sorry, friends. You are on my list. Your fate is sealed. Tear him limb from limb. Let us paint the walls with his blood. That is no way to treat a guest. What is this? Guards! To me! Where is Jacopo? He knows you come for him. Emerging only in darkness to meet with the others. That answers when. Now tell me where. Fede dovrebbe dare conforto. Non pena. Requiescat in pace. There you are. Listen, we've found Stefano da Bagnone. Just follow this road and it'll bring you to the abbey where he's taken refuge. Wait, before you go, take these. You can use them to create a distraction. My thanks, friend. Vestments. Only because they afforded me the opportunity to get close to the Medici. But you're right. I should look at Now I will see who was right. Where is Jacopo? Nothing to fear, I suppose. They meet in the shadow of the Roman gods. Ora si libero dalla paura. Requiescat in pace. I'm getting out of here. This is too much. Leave me alone, I swear. I have nothing to do with anything. Stay my blade long enough to follow him. He'll lead me to his Templar brothers. I'll have more names for my list. This All is yours. Robin, that man. Uh, where do I know him from? Oh. You won't get away! 
sorry, maestro. I did all I could, but the assassin proved too strong. Clearly. Else the others would be here with you. To say nothing of the fact that Firenze remains in Medici hands. It's Francesco's fault. His impatience made him reckless. I, I tried to be the voice of reason. More like the voice of cowardice. You're one to talk, Signor Barbarigo. Had you sent us quality weapons instead of this garbage you Venetians call armament. We put our faith in your family and you repay us with inaction and incompetence? Then when asked to account for your failures, you make excuses and insult us? How do you expect me to respond? I don't know. It's all right. I do. Uh, uh, no. Please. No, don't. <laughs> Please don't what? I can fix this. Spare me. No. What a mess. So sorry to have claimed your prize, assassin. Did you honestly think I wouldn't expect you to follow? That I didn't plan for it? We've been at this a lot longer than you. Kill him. I know you're only doing as you're told. So if you release me, I will spare your lives. Ha! Listen to this! Vai, amico. Libero da fardelli e paure. Requiescati in pace. Huh? <laughs>